evening, afternoon, or morning, YouTubes. Welcome to another beautiful playoff match for the G-Man. I uh, can't wait to watch and commentate on this beautiful, beautiful blizzard. We got Twitch chat, Dark Elves. Versus, I think it's more Dark Elves. So, should be an interesting matchup to see uh, some Elf on Elf action. Super risque. Oh yeah, yep. Both Elf teams have come a long way. Who will be the top Dark Elf? No one knows. Except my cat. Because he probably cheated and looked already. And I know too. But that's a different story. <clears throat> so, starting off on a blizzard should make things uh, kind of interesting. Maybe, probably not. With the going forwards. A little Pistine chooses to receive. Be exciting. What do we got? We got four rerolls on Apothecary, three rerolls on Apothecary. Then we got a uh, Blitzer with Tackle, a Block Witch Elf, Mighty Blow. That's pretty good. Stock Runner, Stock, Stock, Stock. Alignment with Dodge, Alignment with Kick, Blitzer with Dodge. There we go. Plus movement blitzer with dodge. It's a pretty good piece. And then a diving tackle lineman. And then for low elf esteem, we got kick, block, so vanilla blitzer. Oh. Let's see what the kickoffs. The dank elves get an extra reroll. I'm going to pause it really quickly and just go through the rest of the lineup. So. Level 3 Witch of looks like Jump and Wrestle. Interesting choice. Stock, got a Wrestle Lineman. Tackle Dodge Blitzer, pretty good. Pass Block, Wrestle Lineman. Uh, strip Ball Blitzer with Dodge, that's pretty good. And then a Plus Agility Blitzer, which is really solid. And then back here, we got a Wrestle Lineman. I think that's leader. I can't tell. Yep, that's leader. Kick. And, uh. Sure hands. Yeah. Sure hands. Alright. Pretty standard stuff. A little bit of stuff in the mix. P pretty interesting. Nice strongbow setup for defense right here. One of my favorites. Especially if I play elves or humans. Lots of rerolls in this game, four and four. That is crazy. Big pal. Wow, no armor breaks. 
two mirror matchups of the G Man. It's pretty interesting. Rats on rats and dark elves on dark elves. Russell doing its thing, which is nice. Got a little bit of pressure on the ball. Interested to see what he does. Moving straight down the center. Nice KO. Interested to see if he's gonna try to do a little cage around him. Try to move maybe this lineman. Dodge him around and cage off this side. Oh, there we go. Got someone else to do it. No dice. He's got plenty to burn. You might as well use him. Interesting that he kept his uh, witch elf down. Unless I missed something and he wrestled there again. Down goes the ball carrier. Got a free ball. That's not what you like to see. You don't like to see your ball get knocked loose this early in the drive. Especially since I thought it was pretty secure, but you did a good job of freeing him up. And stand up, everyone, and uh, let's see if they can get that ball secure. Nice jump up by the witch elf. Just got the ball. Nice safe move. Solid short pass. See him running down the field. There we go. Kind of in a dangerous spot. Safe move to put the mark on him first. Let's see who's gonna try to bring over to to hit him. Ooh, burns the reroll. That sucks. Ooh. 
dead. And there he goes. One less elf in the world. Always a better thing. Freeing up some other players. Expecting. Guessing he's gonna come back with this runner. Ooh. Picked up. Oh, nope. Nope. Just gonna get a blitzer to get it. Hope well, he certainly turned the driver around, giving him a good opportunity to get a heads up and stall out, score, and get a kick to him and score again. Currently, he's in a really good position to uh, win this match. <coughs> Unless uh, the low of esteem can really pull something out of their hat and put some pressure on them. Which shouldn't be too hard for elves, even down a player. on the ball again. Hmm. Risky one die blocks. <laughs> Alright, free up the ball carrier. Expecting maybe a handoff. Interesting place to run to. Just got, uh, okay. I see what you did there. Gonna try to make a cage. Or not. Sorry if I sound kind of all over the place, I'm trying to figure out exactly what he's doing. He's leaving himself kind of open for a turnover. Steam's doing a good job of keeping pressure on the ball carrier. And he's really close to their end zone, so if he could force a turnover, he can easily get right in there and score again. Keeping this match on track. Neither teams have any reserve players, so he's going to be playing this whole match a man down, which, like I said before, is still not a big deal for Dark Elves. Oh, nice. He got out of there. Good move up the field, and he's pretty much safe. Taking up the, uh, the casualty count just a little bit higher. Nope. Here be the next round. Dark 
Daniel's been showing uh, showing his worth today. It's gonna be a hard one to stop. He is in the free and clear. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That has gotta hurt. That's not what you like to see right there. Good job freeing up some more players to kind of cage off the side. Little screen to protect the uh, ball carrier. And he's just having his way. He's just beating the crap out of him. Things because Low of Esteem had a really solid season this uh, season. I'm pretty sure it was a perfect run. So he's got to be pretty upset right now with how the how the way things are going. Going for the one die, and I think he's got dodge. Yep. He's got the strip ball too. There we go. Freeze up the ball maybe with a long pass next drive. If he can somehow recover. There's a small shimmering hope that uh, he can stall the play out. I didn't try to hit it into his hands. Kind of risky, but I like to live dangerously. All right, just to pick up on a run in, we got a touchdown. Oh, this thing is gonna try to stall out one more turn. Dub schools. He is trying his damn just to keep pressure on that ball. First touchdown of the match, turn eight, right before the half. 
Really gonna put the low of esteem in a really hard place right now. Shoot for a tie and go to overtime and try to win it in OT or try to turn to get a turnover and then score again. Back and it looks like they got two out. He's got one out. So ten v ten. So they're at even strength. I didn't see them having backup one. Yeah. So ten v ten, even strength teams right now. But he's at a disadvantage kicking to the Dank Elves. Is, uh, I mean, all they really have to do is sit there and hold it for 16 turns and they win theoretically. And if they put one in, that's the theoretical, uh, pretty much it. That's gonna be hard for them to come back from a 2 0 at this point. Unless they score real quick. Kind of hard to say. Let them score real quick. Or try to force them to score real quick. Or try to get that force that turnover really quickly. Interesting. Just got the ball completely unguarded. Good solid pickup. Nothing to say there. I mean, nothing really much to comment. The Ankel's really kind of having his way. He's getting really good dice rolls on his blocking dice. A lot of KOs. Got that one kill. Um, Lil' of Esteem's really going to have to force force his hand. I think he's really going to have to try to get that, uh, that turnover. And if so, he's going to do it quick. So we can have a chance to do it again before overtime if he really wants to secure a win. I mean, especially right now, he's under... He's, he's completely unprotected. Granny, he's got no one who can get there, but... If the Dank Elves don't form a cage, which I guarantee they will, he's pull, probably going to pull up somewhere around here. Just hurts, man. He is being seriously outmaneuvered on defense right now. Dank Elves has a really nice screen coming up this way, so we can just kind of run up the sideline. 
which might work out for him in the advantage if he scores early enough, which it looks like he's kind of moving every turn. A uh, little steam kick to again. Give me a chance to put a really quick touchdown up and then maybe trying to force that turnover. And maybe getting back their KO'd player. And another one bites the dust. And another one bites the dust. I oh mean, at this rate, there's not going to be much of the low elf esteems left. a thing. It's nice when jump up does a thing. Jump up doing another thing. Look at all that jump up doing things. Off. And down she goes. Forming up a new cage and getting ready to stall out, I would imagine. Thinks he's really gotta start doing something. If he can't force that turnover, he's not gonna have enough time. This uh, the dink elves are just gonna sit here and stall him out.
That is rough. It is hard to come back from that. not on his side either. So this is just a rough match for him. I mean this coach has pretty much got it all in the bag. He can sit here and stall out these next three turns, continue bashing on his team for some extra SPP and it's pretty much over. Touchdown. <laughs> All right, unfortunately, both knockouts came back. And so it is. I mean, it's pretty much all over. The best you can do is score a touchdown really quickly and hope for uh, a ride adding more turns on both drives. Which he did not get. So he's gonna have to score one really quick touchdown and then hope for a ride and maybe get a one turn touchdown. Not looking like it. some people in scoring position. this game. Thank <laughs> you. 
pass. Well, at least doesn't go scoreless. He puts it in, so it's a 2-1 match, but he can't be happy with that. He's going to definitely have some revenge coming up in Season 2. That, that's it. He is definitely uh, cannot be happy with that. Nine armor breaks. Pretty good for Dark Elf team. Ugh, but season two, he will definitely be looking for blood. Well, the Dank Elves move on, and uh, Lou Elvis team gets knocked out. I'll see you guys next time.